Holy shit. Holy shit. That is a big ass pumpkin. And here we got Lake Champlain again. And we officially crossed the city limits into Grand Isle County, into the town of South Europe. There it is, Wally's place. Bagels, breads, and deli. Wow. This one's called the Lake Monster in honor of Champ. Ah, oh, that was a lovely Lake Monster bagel. Onwards to the rest of the island. Look at that, come on. That is a straight up computer wallpaper. Mm. And it only costs 50 cents. Canada, 26 miles. Ah, oh, we're getting so close. So that building right there used to be a schoolhouse and it was built in 1783. So these cows are just walked a little bit closer towards me. I think they're curious. Holy shit! I'm serious, they're all right here. They, they all want to say hi. So, hello! Have a good day, cows. <laughs> they still want to follow me a little bit, see? Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> Hello. Besides the cows, I just made a new friend. She landed on my face. Drawbridge ahead, which means that on the other side, we will have finished crossing South Hero Island and North Hero Island begins. And here must be the drawbridge operating station. And here is the drawbridge. Why now? Just to make it official, goodbye Grand Isle. Hello, North Hero Island. There were some bikers back there, and they were speaking French. And the region of Canada that's across here is Quebec, which is French Canada. So we're getting close. Right next to the post office is 
a general store, bakery, anything you want really. Coffee and a gas station called Heroes Welcome. Let's take a look. It's that time of the day again. It's Will Gilbert find a place to sleep tonight time. I have to start knocking on doors, but as you can see, there are no doors to knock on. So the pressure's on. <sighs> Starting to get a little bit nervous. See, plenty of the houses here are deep, like deep, deep into the woods and they have no trespassing signs in front of them. <sighs> Which means that people here, they come to live here to not be disturbed. What's this? A rejection in Vermont? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw it like coming. The, the lady who answered me was rather grumpy. She was an evil auntie. <laughs> no, she was old and evil. Great auntie. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm kidding. I shouldn't be that mean. I, I, I shouldn't uh, impose bad karma upon myself. Okay, let's try again. I see a light right here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Oh, this must be a record. This must be a record. It is uh, fucking dark. <laughs> so on my second try, I got a place behind the barn. She said, look how creepy this looks. I'm not gonna go inside. She told me to go behind it and she claimed that somebody had done this before. But yeah, guys, I found a place for the night. Um, in other news, uh, my phone is at 3% and my stupid charger, actually, it may just be the phone itself. Point is, I can't get my the phone to charge, and this makes me nervous, and it also makes me frustrated. Nervous because it means that I lose connection with the outside world, and I don't want my parents to worry, I don't want my friends to worry, and it also makes me frustrated because I don't want to think that I am a damn slave to technology. Okay, um, it's perhaps 15, 20 minutes after I filmed the last segment. Yeah, I tried and I tried and I tried again. My iPhone just won't charge. Good going, Apple products. However, before the cell phone blacked out, I just wanted to tell my parents, my friends, that what was going on, hey, the cell phone won't charge and it doesn't seem like it's gonna make it so I'll be offline I'll be off the grid why am I mad why am I mad <laughs>